I welcome my viewers uh, once again. Don't forget, I'm still your brother, Pastor Smart Nachi, the managing director, Nachi International Farms Limited. Just not a, not long ago, we recorded a video about uh, a video we captioned the uh, pig, fish, grass cutter, snail uh, farming, fish, snail farming made easy. And I want to believe by this time you would have watched that very video. That video was made when we were renovating a particular farm. But today we are about to record another video of this of that similar kind that will show you about what has taken place in the course of the renovation and the new face of that very farm. Having watched the former video, if you watch this very one, you will know that a lot of things, professionally speaking, have been taking place in this farm. By His grace, this is to open our eyes to the modern way of doing pig farming, the modern way of doing snail farming, the modern way of doing grass cutter farming, the modern way of doing fish farming, and even the modern way of doing kinel farming. So I would, if you have not watched the previous video, I would uh, encourage and advise you to go back, click on my subscription button, and have an opportunity to watch the previous video, because without watching that one, the one you are about to watch may not make that sense to you until you have watched the former one and know the state, the condition this farm was in before we started the renovation and the condition the farm is in currently after the renovation. Just by my left hand side is the fish ponds. Now we have about six fish ponds here. It was not like this before this time. If you watch closely you will discover that this very pond has undergone series of renovations treatments and uh, all what not to make sure that the fish that will be in this pond lives a healthy life just looking inside you see we have just introduced some sets of uh, uh, juveniles juve catfish juveniles these uh, very juveniles came into this pond three weeks ago and up to today we have not recorded a single casualty though in my subsequent uh, videos i will be showing you how you can do fish farming without losing a single number of fish in your pond so it has been treated it was treated before this time the walls have been Mm, renovated like before this time the walls used to leak uh, water but today it does not it cannot leak water anymore uh, so just currently we are changing water uh, this the water here is due for change and that is what is going on from the outlets so this is uh, one of the section uh, in this farm the ponds uh, let me closely take it through so that this is the outlet, the, the outlet pipes. This pipe is where the water from the pond is evacuated through. Then this is the supply pipe where water is supplied into the pump, into the pond, sorry. Uh, this is the chamber, the water from the other pond the three other ponds behind and the three ponds in front, the pipe will collect the water to this chamber and the chamber transports them on the ground to the discharge point at the far end. Okay, that is the much I can show you about the fish pond. So as you follow me closely, let's go to the fish farm. This is the piggery section of the farm. We have about 18 pens here. This is one of the pens. If you have watched the former video, you will know that it was not like this before this time. If you look at the floor, you will agree with me, it has undergone 
maintenance, the renovation. This is the wallow. Like I said in the previous video, it is good in every pen you have in your piggery, there should be provision for wallow. This wallow is where water will be collected into. The essence of this is that when the weather is too hot for them, what they do is that because the, the pigs don't have sweating glands, so if you don't have provision for a wallow, they will begin to suffer. So when you have a, a provision for wallow like we have here, when the pond, when the weather is too hot, you see they'll come into the wallow, rest in this wallow. By so doing, the water will help to cool them off. This is the feeding trough. Like in some, in some farms you go to, you see people putting the feed on the ground. It is not advisable because when the floor is contaminated, any food you put here, as they pick it, they pick the disease. But if you have a separate place for their food, like we have here, you have helped to curtail that very uh, issue. Like uh, we have, this is the pen 18, pen 17, pen 16, similar things have gone have been done in this place. It is not like this before. That's why I encourage you to make sure you watch the former video. This is uh, another pen. This this is just uh, one of the sewers that just littered not long ago. Uh, it's a pure breed land race. As you can see, you see the wallow there. You see the feeding trunk. You see the outlet. So we have similar things almost everywhere here. So again, we have another pen here. This is a, a sewer. A sewer waiting for a, a boar to cross it. This is, you see the similar things. You see everywhere is neat. As neat as. That is the modern way of doing PB. You don't perceive any offensive order. And we never perceive such, so long as this very farm is concerned. Because of the way the construction is done. This is a pregnant sewer. As you can see, this one is pregnant. This one is pregnant, about to litter. Look at, look at it very carefully. Look at it very carefully. It's about to litter. In less than a month now, we should be having sets of piglets, sets of liters from this very soil. Okay, look at the environment carefully. You see that a lot of things have been going on. Like here, we have a liter the uh, piglets, and uh, so are these ones are about is a, they are about uh, six weeks old, about six weeks old, and you can see how healthy they are. This is the mother, the mother soa that just litter this one about six weeks ago, and uh, they were about uh, six. But uh, at the end of the day, one was lost, leaving behind eight liters by uh, within one or two weeks this one will be separated from the soa okay so this is the the new phase of the pig pen you see how it has been renovated and everywhere is very neat everywhere is very decent we are going to the grass cutter pen a lot of us are still wondering whether one can do grass cutter farming successfully and how it can be done, how it, the building is made. Let's carefully take, take you to the grass cutter pen. Okay, this is the pen for grass cutters. This is the pen. This is, the, this is the grass cutter pen. These are the cage. Of course, as you can see, we have sets of grass cutters. You see them running around. You see them running around. It was not like this. All this time. In fact, this very farm was not in existence when we came in. 
I had to personally build this one in addition to what they already had in this farm. So in case you want to, maybe in my subsequent video, I will come back, explain to us how we can build, how we can build the grass cutter pen, the stages, the dimension of the structure, and the, the reason why, I will explain the reason why this very pen is, uh, is in a place like this. So instead of keeping the cage outside, I will further do the explanation, but for now, Let's go through and see what we have been able to do so long as this farm is concerned. So I'll be taking you to the snail section where we have snail men. Okay. Here is the Here is the hatchery. Here is just the hatchery. Uh, when we get the eggs from the major farm, the main farm, you know, those eggs will not uh, be ideal if you leave them in the main farm. It is not that if, you, if they are left in that farm, they will die. They may not die, but for for safety reasons, it is good. You have a separate place for hatchery. This is our hatchery. And if you look on the ground, you see these areas are where we have kept eggs. We have close to, or if not more than 400 eggs in this place waiting for their time you know within 28 to 30 days these eggs will begin to hatch we already have hatched ones already the reason why we have kept the hatch ones in this uh, set of tires is because uh, as tiny as they are if you allow them to freely creep within this place before you know it they may start escaping out from these tiny tiny openings so that's why we had to keep them in the tire for some time so that they will grow a little bigger before they will be let out of the tire maybe i should get one of the of the hashed hashed snails to show you how they look like okay i have just one if you look at me very well look at my hand this is just one you see how they look like before you know it, they will grow bigger and bigger and bigger to a size where one can take it to the market and make so much money from it. Okay, this is just the hatchery. Okay, we have another hatchery that is not yet in use. If you look at behind me, if you look behind me, you see another set of hatchery. This one is not yet in use. Why we, we are not using it for now is that we have planted the plantain outside, no, for purple outside to provide shade. But the purple is too small to bring about that shade against the sun. That's why it's still in this form. Okay, now let me quickly show you the major the main snail farm having shown you the hatchery okay this is the major snail farm so it was not like this that's why i encourage you to make sure you watch that very video when i brought you into this place in that very video it, it, this place was not like this but as a result of our construction you are now seeing a different place entirely with a different structure you see beneath these dry plantain leaves are where you have the snails let me just show you one let me show you one this is one you see this is one of the snails 
they are already laying eggs. So far, we have gotten about uh, six to seven hundred, or if not more than that, of eggs. About two hundred and something have hatched already, if not up to three hundred. I don't have the exact figure. So about two to three hundred eggs have hatched. We still have over four hundred eggs that are about to hatch. Within some days, they will begin to hatch. So that is the good of farming like this. Before you know it, we'll have more than a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, and up and up of these uh, eggs that we we'll hatch. And uh, by just so doing, you make so much money. I used to tell people that snail farming gives so much money. This is just how it begins. And before you know it, you are counting in millions. So I want to uh, ask you to keep are subscribing keep watching my channels because more of these uh, sort of things will be coming your way i'm not coming in detail i will soon get you a picture a video sorry of the detail step by step of how to do snail uh farming but for now i want to leave you with that if you have any question you can send me a message you can also subscribe to my channel to get abreast to the new modern way of doing uh, all these uh, sets of farming. The other time, I hope you have watched, I've shown you about how to do odorless pig. That's doing a pig farm without odor. So these are modern ways of doing it. And uh, as you do it and rip from it, you will be glad to do so. Thank you and God bless you.